Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and last night I got my new video card. I couldn't install it last night, so I installed it this morning. It took about a half hour or an hour. I'm going to kind of show you what I did. Um, I'm going to break this up into two videos. This is going to be the first one where I'm just showing the installation process, and the second one I'm going to do where I actually show you the performance of the card. And by the way, it rocks. Um, so I unboxed the card, and then I uninstalled the old card, which is this one right here. It's an ATI. It came with my computer. It's only about six months old. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. Probably put it in my other computer. But um, this one, you know, was really nice and quiet. The new one is a bit louder. I'd say maybe 10 dB louder, unfortunately. And it runs only at one speed. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do there. But um, so after I installed the new card, it took a little finagling to squeeze it in because it's a lot larger than the other one. Um, I booted up the computer and put the CD-ROM that it came with and installed the drivers. And then there's a gentleman, Brian, out of California. I don't know his last name, it's not listed on Vimeo, but he has an excellent tutorial and I'll link to it in the show notes where he basically shows you how to hack Premiere Pro CS5 to take this card because it's not one of the supported cards, the uh, uh, 240 GT that I got from MSI. And I'll also link to that where I bought it on Newegg. It's roughly about $75 after the rebate. In fact, I need to fill out that rebate stuff. There's about $15 off. So there's several steps in Brian's uh, tutorial. And one of them is to change with Notepad, change, just basically add the name of your card. You have to go find it um, using uh, a command prompt. Not too hard. It's really easy to follow Brian's instructions. He goes very slow and I almost did everything in real time with him. So after you do the Notepad, you have to go into the NVIDIA um, interface and change a couple properties around and then basically you just load up um, Premiere and for me I didn't even have to change it to uh, the Mercury playback engine it did it for me automatically um, and then you're ready to go. Power consumption wise I was really worried about this car because a lot of people are telling me that my 460 watt max power supply I've got in this HP computer wouldn't hold up but uh, it seems to hold up just fine in fact I'll show you um, some power usage just while it's idling compared to the um, the original card that I had in there just my computer idling you know I think it was using around 100 watts or so and then also compare when I was using I was rendering um, which is usually when the computer gets totally maxed out and uses up the most wattage that I've found anyway and it was over 200 and they both were pretty much equal um, this particular card said I needed a minimum of a 350 watts um, and it seemed to work fine. So after I did all this stuff and I was uh, playing around with it and it was working great, I did get it to crash unfortunately. Um, but then I remembered from the guys over at uh, Studio One Production um, that I didn't probably have the most updated driver. So I went to NVIDIA site, downloaded the drivers and now it hasn't crashed since and I've done a couple, I've done at least one complete video with it. Um, so what's really cool about this card is it's, uh, it's got a hundred CUDA, CUDA cores in it, whatever CUDA means, I have no idea. But these guys over at Studio One Productions basically say that yeah, the way Premiere is set up today, they only use about a hundred. I mean, you can go out and buy some of these more expensive cards and spend a ton of money on them. And they might have three or four hundred CUDA cores in them, but it's only going to use a hundred. And this one has a hundred in it. So bang for the buck, this, this thing works great and it's used less power and all that other stuff. So that's pretty much it. The next video I'm going to do is me um, showing you how freaking fast this thing is. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.